Is a Burby attached to the ball? <laughs> Tim, like, turned around and knelt down, and then just a, a minute later, Pikachu finally caught up. Hey, Tim, they said one of the Burmy is yet to come back, right? Must have gotten caught up in something. Let's look for it. Sure, but how? Well, according to the Burmy, it must be in some other tree. So maybe we can find it by shaking trees like we just did. Yeah, that's right. We may also get eyewitness information. Don't forget about interviewing people. Let's go interview the Scraggy. Let's figure out the tree the Burmy is in to start. Then at least we'll know that for the future. All right, that was the one that had the other Burmy. I thought the interviewing people would tell us where the bur what? Oh well, shit! It's a freaking uh... forget exactly what that's called. Ferrothorn. That's it. For some reason, I kept thinking Pineco. I know that's not what Pineco looks like, but like that's the one. That yeah, I get what you mean. What? Oh, Pharaoh Seed. Ferrothorn is the evolved form. Silent Observer. That's a black and white ball ish. I'm pretty sure they need the soccer ball, but. <laughs> oh, it's Pharaoh Seed. Would have been rough if it hit us. Well, I guess this works out well. Let's speak with it. Pharaoh. Got the necklace. A necklace went missing near the tree the Burmy live in. Know anything about that? Pharaoh. Ah, oh, you saw there was a fight at that tree, but you didn't notice a necklace. We're looking for a missing Burmy. Do you know anything about it? Hey, are you listening? Pharaoh. I see. So it hasn't come this way. I don't believe it. I want to roll insight check on the Pharaoh Thorn. Pharaoh Seed. Yeah, thank you. I mean, I don't believe it either, but we also can't really do anything. It's in the trash can. In the oh. Trash can is empty. It's still unconscious. Tickle it with the black feather. <laughs> Try it out. Tickle it. No sign of it waking up. Hmm. That was worth a try. Alright. We haven't checked out the cafe. to the kid? Well, I'm just, let's check out the cafe area, because we haven't actually checked that out at all. Uh, maybe the pen will be here. Talo, preening is its favorite pastime. Talo? We're looking for a missing Burmy. Do you know anything about it? Hello. Okay, thanks. Doesn't know whether it was a Burmy, but it saw something pink that it's not used to used to walking nearby. Burmy don't usually walk. Tepping. Well, that's random. Filled with healthy energy. Tepig? I have something to say. Tepig? We're looking for a missing Burmy. Do you know anything about it? Tepe? I see. You were so caught up in looking for berries that you haven't seen anything. Thanks. Tepe? Without it hiding. What are you doing over there? Tepe! Oh, you were looking for berries. Did you find any? Tepe! Hmm? Did you give us something you found? Oh, it's a coin. Thanks. Yes! Pig. <laughs> Have you seen any Burmy? I used to see a lot of them in this park, but I usually see them in the fountain area these days. Helpful. Welcome, would you like to order something? Tapping? <laughs> oh, time for a break? In that case, order a coffee for me, too. Oh, you drink coffee? Yeah, I don't just drink it. I love it. So order me one up. He didn't say whether he likes it like black with sugar with cream. Two coffees, please. 
Okay, got it. Slurp puff, two coffees, please. Slurp. Slurp puff, the best taste tester. Ah, oh, nice work. This is the first time I've seen a Pokemon drink coffee. Hey, Tim, delicious things aren't limited to Pokemon or people. Drinking coffee under a blue sky. Is it awesome? Of course, I know a better cafe than this one. I just want to say something. He looked adorable in that in, when he was in that chair, and he looked real tiny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, pit of pit of. Wait, about the coffee. Coffee was delish. Pikachu liked it too, I think. Pikachu did. Never mind. This is a nice shop. <laughs> was she not watching? <laughs> about pit of food. So I heard there's a way to get pit of some food. Yeah, we have some portions based on stuff like scraps of bread. You can have some if you'd like. Thank you. <laughs> it's cheese and a bromel what missing from between the fountain area. Do I know anything about her? I couldn't understand what the fuck you were saying, but I'm not <laughs> sure if it's that Burmy, but I saw my first trash cloak Burmy today. It's in this park. Oh, where was it? In that big tree just over there. Ah, the obvious tree, which is the only one you haven't touched because you went around it to get to the cafe. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Seriously, it actually looked like a unique tree, and I was going to mention it, but then we were at the cafe a lot faster than I expected. <laughs> to be fair, I, didn't, I thought that you could only shake the thin ones. Shake. Hey. Trash Burmy. We found it. It's Burmy. Are you sure? Yeah. But this one looks a little bit different from the ones we just saw. Hey, can we talk to you for a second? Oh. Whoa! Permadan, doubting and overbearing. Ah, found the parents. Don't get close to Burmy. Why? What in the world are you talking about? Are you its guardians? We're of the galaxy? We're not eat it or anything. We happen to be looking for something and we just want to talk to it. What sounds are they making? Uh me 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 there was a quarrel at the tree near the fountain today. A necklace must have fallen close to it. Do you know anything about that? Worma, worma. Doesn't know anything about any quarrel and hasn't seen a necklace. If it's not at the scene, then it can't be helped. There was a missing Burmy near the fountain. Is this that Burmy? Worma, worma, worma. Sure, that one was trash cloak, but Burmy are Burmy, right? Racist. If you say they are unrelated, let us talk to it directly. Wormo, wormo, wormo. If there's no proof that it's involved in the incident, you won't let us talk to it? Wormo. Wormo, wormo. Wormo, wormo. We won't get anywhere like this. Let's go, Tim. Ah, uh, poker parents. Judging from that reaction, there's definitely something to that trash cloak, Burmy. We could just talk to it directly. Yes, yeah, so we have to find some proof that will satisfy the Wormadam. Let's gather info about the Burmy. Hmm. Now can we go talk to the kids? <coughs> <coughs> uh, yeah. But first I'm going to talk to the other people we haven't talked to. Can I help you? Do you know anything about Burmy? Let's see. There are definitely various kinds. About three, I think. Oh, how are they different? Hmm. I think their forms are different. That old timer way over there may know. To the old timer! What's up? Do you know anything about Burmy? Hmm, Burmy. It involves a Wormadam. Well, maybe that's too obvious, Sam. <laughs> Why was that a note? <gasps> Halo? Do you know anything about Burmy? Halo. Said it's not interested, it doesn't know anything. Probably eats Burmy. 
Yes. Do you know anything about Burmy? Oh, <laughs> I'm glad you asked. I actually wanted to become a Pokemon professor in my younger days. You ready? Let me tell you about Burmy. Okay. Burmy incorporates things that are around it into its cloak when it makes one. Depending on the stuff it incorporates into it, its cloak will be one of three kinds. Plat, sandy, or trash. Our Burmy got trash dunked, didn't it? Hmm. Can you tell me more about the plant cloak? That's a cloak made from leaves and grass. You can see that form in this park. Can you tell me more about Sandy Cloak? That's a Santa cloak Claus. made. <laughs> That's a cloak made from Santa Claus. You'll see a lot of these in places like the North Pole. Tell me about Trash Cloak. Those are made from Jiro. <laughs> I was literally about to say that too. That's a cloak made from trash. You can see a lot of them downtown. Hmm. I don't know if that constitutes as evidence or not. I honestly can't tell. To the chillins. Yeah, let's go talk to those people now. Well, those people. That person and his scraggy. Okay. Uh, about burn. Do you know anything about me? Yeah, some of them live in that tree over there. They're always in the treetop, so I don't see them too much. The Burmese seem to be afraid of the ball. Know anything about that? Oh, uh, actually, last night, the ball hit one and broke its cloak. <gasps> Poke abuse! Thanks for telling me. The police will be by soon. <laughs> so when I stopped talking to him, he said, okay. And it was just in response to you saying about the police. Pikachu has something to say. Mm, I guess this means that. What's up? Hey, Tim. The guy looking for the pen was in the fountain area, right? Let's ask him what time he lost the pen. What? All of us? Oh, I bet it's in the Burmese trash cloak. Don't sweat it. The guy at the fountain. Yeah, I think so, too. So I think that's where the pen and the necklace went to. Yeah. Oh, hang on first. Hmm? Oh, you got some food. Yes, here it is. Okay, stand back a ways. Okay. There we go. George, Huey, McCoy. Oh, the back. Ah, so soothing. I only feel relaxed when I'm playing with Peter. They're so cute. George, Huey, McCoy. This guy seems pretty tired. Let's keep quiet for his sake. Oh! You know anything about Burmy? Dolph! I was kind of prepared for this, but it asked me who Burmy is. I don't think we'll be able to learn anything from it. By the way, are you McCoy? Dolph! Okay then, Huey, or how about George? Dolph! No? Okay then, what's your name? Dolph! You forgot it? What a ridiculous creature. Guess that old guy just calls you whatever he likes. We've uncovered the sad truth here. Dolph? No, it's the same thing for all of them, I guess. Okay. What? I'm kind of busy here. Dove. About when did you lose the dove? Huh? What's this now? It was last dove. I was flustered when I was taking notes here, and I dropped it at the time. Do you know something about it? No. Thank you. Do you know anything about Vermi? Nope. I'm pretty busy. Oh. The missing pen. And the busted cloak. What are you thinking, Pikachu? Wait, hold on. Bolts of brilliance! <laughs> <laughs> pen. We will find it in Burmy's cloak! <laughs> so dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> What's 
this about? <laughs> We've heard that Burmy make their cloaks out of the stuff around them. If a pen was lying near the Burmy with the busted cloak, let's go right now and check it out. Hi. Yes, we're back. I'm sorry, but can we investigate uh, your cloaks? Uh, what? what Why are we going mean? to these, Burmy? They said no way they get ticklish. <laughs> Oh shit! You okay? Uh, oh, so that's what they look like. Sorry. Poke abuse. Poke abuser. Okay. Punt him. Okay. Hey, check it out. Looks like my prediction was right. That's why we went to them first. Wait. What about the necklace? <laughs> Slow down. Get into that. Oh wow, the shit they make those quick. Just like this pen, there's a high chance that the necklace got incorporated into a Burmese cloak. But uh, it didn't come out just now. Is that one here? Trash cloak Burmy? That kid said the cloak was different, so it's unrelated. Yeah, there's some trick to it. Trash means cleaning, right? There must be someone who knows about that. Let's ask around. Alright, but first I want to oh, give this guy's oh, pen back. Uh oh. Douche, do, 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 do. Um, is this your pen? Ha, ah, you found it. Thank you. I got this pen from my dad, so I've cherished it for a long time. Oh. It's my cherished pen. Thanks. Bye. I assume we'll be able to talk to him later if we need more info. What's wrong? Do you? <laughs> do what do you think about Burmy? The tree that Burmy lives in loses more leaves than the other trees. But there is something that's been on my mind. What's been on your mind, baby? The trash disappeared. The trash can near the tree that Burmy lives in fell over at some point, but the contents have disappeared. What happened? When I checked in the morning, the trash can was full of garbage, but the amount of loose trash after it tipped over was clearly less than it had been earlier. I assume just a trubbish came by. Maybe someone tidied it up. I don't actually assume that because we know what happened, but still, that seems like a viable excuse. The Apom was involved in that fight at the time, so I don't think anyone would have gone near it. Now we collected some important information. Let's think about its cloak. disappearing so that's what you think huh now we need a reason it became a trash cloak burmy and did you notice anything strange that happened near the spot where the plant cloak burmy were oh wait the trash disappearing we're going this oh wait, no, here no. we go uh okay so Because of oh, trash. wait! Oh, because of leaves? The, le the I think the leaves came off of it. Young boy. There we go. That's what? You're right. Yeah, I think the leaf. Let's head to the place with the war madame. It broke once it was remade with trash. Yeah, I think the idea is like the leaves that we found at the crime at the scene were the leaves that came off the Burmese cloak. Is because oh. the, the, the first thing they were asking is, uh, you know. What suggests that its cloak came off? Oh, okay, I misunderstood. Yeah, uh, admittedly, the same thing happened with me, because I, I figured it was like, uh, we just gotta show that it could have changed. Pikachu is only slightly disappointed in us. Hey there, you got a sec? Would you mind if we took a look at your cloak? <laughs> We think the necklace we're looking for must have gotten mixed up in Burmy's cloak. It's not in the cloaks of the other Burmy, which means it can only be in this one. 
Come on, why are you so overprotective? Will you let us look if we show you some proof of a Burmese cloak changing from plant cloak to trash cloak? That's good. Tim, do you have some proof? Yeah. The... Oh, uh... The leaves, I think, is what we're looking for here. I can't really read them, so I'm guessing so. It's, a, it's the newspaper, the empty can, the leaves, the red berry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. This is what happened. The Burmese cloak got caught in the fight between Murkrow and Napalm and broke. These leaves are from that cloak. But that's not all. Listen up. Burmy got flustered, and so it decided to make a new cloak out of nearby trash. Burmy! Burmy! Burmy, me, me! Burma? Thank you for your understanding. Now, I'll make this quick. Let me just reach inside you. <laughs> you found it. The necklace. Yep. Let's go deliver it. Yeah. I'm not going to do anything about the dead apalm, or... Alright. And that problem is solved. It came out of Burmese trash cloak. That was a lot more convoluted than I expected it to be. Yeah! And yet not to a ridiculous degree. Yeah, it just wasn't as simple as just the Murkrow has it. Here. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Madness. Pikachu. Now who the fuck is this lady? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ah, romantic interest, got it. Yeah, because I did all the work. Well, Pikachu helped a lot, too. He seems like a great partner, and his hat's really cute. <laughs> well, I Cheeks dig the, the hat. Okay. What are you doing? Invite her out to tea or something. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Pikachu, seer of ignorance. You're going to the Baker Detective Agency, right? How did you know that? You don't get it, do you? I'm your father's. Detective Harry Good. Currently, I'm working out of the Baker Detective Agency where we used to consult. Yeah. Well, shit. Okay, then. <laughs> what do you mean? Is that really me? Uh, sorry. The last time I saw you, you seemed cuter and a bit more docile. Oh. That's because I was a Pichu at the time. Unfortunately, I lost my memory. What? You've got amnesia? But you said you remember my dad. Well, it's not like I really remember him. I just figured it out from the other conversations. Hey, isn't your appointment at three? Let's go. Huh. Pikachu showed me the way to the Baker Detective Agency. Oh, no, no you, you should be reading this. Pikachu showed me the way to the Detective Baker Agency, and I was on my way. The Detective Baker Agency. <laughs> Run by Gormando. <laughs> Baker, you probably shouldn't let him know you can talk to me. Of course I won't. Nobody would believe it anyway. Good. You're very smart. Why can't he just fucking talk like me, Elf? I don't know. Fletchling, dedicated to making deliveries. Will occasionally send your junk mail. Thank you, Fletchling. Amanda Blackstone, assisted at the detective bait at the <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, me. <laughs> Oh, it is the Baker Agency. Lunch isn't ready yet. Good afternoon. Uh, hello. Ooh, Can I cookies. You with uh, yeah. Mike Baker, director at the Detective Baker Agency. Is that Jim? Yes. You're Mr. Baker, right? Oh, you must be Harry's son. I'm Amanda. It's nice to meet you. I'm Tim. Nice to meet you. I've heard so much about you. It feels like we've already met. And you look just like your dad. Except hey. like... Hey, Less than half his age. You're eating all of the sweets for the clients again. What's the problem? I need it more than them. My brain could really use a sugar boost. <laughs> hey! Not my ears again! What are you doing? That hurts! Come on, let me go! You're hurting me! Why would you pick it up by the ear? So, 
My dad had an mm. accident while he was on a case investigating a Pokemon. Yes. And only Pikachu was left at the scene. It's been two months and, well, we still have no idea where your father is. But aren't the police investigating? Why hasn't there been any progress so far? Well, there is an investigation, and a very reliable inspector is on the case. But even so, we still don't know anything. The inspector was involved, wasn't he? Tim, this is just between us. There are some suspicious things going on. They need to be investigated carefully. So please understand this may take a while. I'm gonna look for him, too. That's the reason I came here. Not a good idea. I understand how you feel. But it's too dangerous for you. But sir. But sir, I'm a Pokemon trainer. Look, when I call it hello. Progress, I will let you know. In the meantime, don't do anything dangerous. I mean it. Your father would never forgive me, you know. I understand. Oh, we're moving around in here now. I hope the reason that we can understand Pikachu is that something dumb like your dad's soul is inside Pikachu. Yeah, I hope it's not like that. I hope at the dumbest I would allow is like, uh, assuming our dad could also understand Pikachu, it's something like r running in the family is the ability to understand certain Pokemon. That's the dumbest I would allow. Yeah. It's a spare desk. Harry has used it before. He was originally a detective in Rhyme City, and he often dropped by this office. For the cookies. Yes. You came from far away, huh? You must have been worried about your dad. Yeah, Mom was even more concerned than I was, but she has her job and there was no way she could leave our town. So that's why you came, right? Ling, ling. Uh, about Amanda. Ling, ling. Are you a detective too, Amanda? No, I'm an assistant. I compile the stuff the boss has investigated into reports. Communicate with clients and handle appointments. Stuff like that. And keep Pikachu from eating all the cookies. Ah, okay. Huh? You interested in Amanda? Ling, 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 ling. Pikachu's a freaking shipper. <laughs> Not like that. Huh? I'm so also of indiscriminate age. Something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. Pikachu! I was just interested in seeing what kind of place the agency is. Yeah, okay. I don't know why he said Pikachu. I think it, it was like, ah, Pikachu, making me look crazy again. We'll leave it at that. About Harry. What were your impressions of my papa? Oh, but I can't say anything bad about him in front of his son. Uh. Just kidding. He was a model detective. What? Very smart, full of knowledge and experience. <laughs> Even though he could act silly, he was calculating and well-liked by the clients. I don't remember, but it somehow seems like he was always silly. Talking to his Pokemon and giving him a hat. What kind of guy is Mr. Baker? Hmm, he's considerate, though he could be a bit unreliable. But keep that to yourself. He's popular and has the necessary capabilities for a detective. I heard he was close to my dad. Yeah, he often dropped by. Harry with his freewheeling attitude and dislike for organizational ties, and the boss, common with a lot of associates, were a good combination. And then there's Amanda. Is Pikachu always this way with the sweets? He was never like this before, but I guess he's been lonely since Harry went missing. Wherever Harry went, Pikachu was always with him, just like me and Fletchling. I have no input even though you're talking about me right in front of me. I have an insatiable desire for coffee and cookies. Uh, I already have a nice hat. Ling, ling. Uh. <laughs> Fletch? Fletch? Hey there. This is Amanda's Fletchling. He's worked hard by Amanda, doing stuff like fetching the newspaper and delivering letters and packages. Fletch? Whoops, Fletchling got angry with me. It says it likes helping Amanda. What does Amanda like? Fletch! It says she's kind and reliable, because she treats it quite differently than she treats me. Hmm. 
Hang on, can I talk yes. with him? All right, you're, you'll be going to Rhyme University starting this fall, right? Congratulations on passing the test. That? <laughs> Wait, how do you... Harry told me. He was looking forward to your arrival. Again, please don't do anything rash. Pikachu. You said there were suspicious things about my dad's accident. Sorry, but I can't tell you anything more about it at this time. Was Pikachu in the accident too? Yes, an inspector found him collapsed at the scene and brought him here. Can you tell me about the Pokemon incidents my dad was pursuing? Sure. About a year ago, we started seeing an increase in Pokemon-caused incidents in this town. People considered them to be coincidental, but an inspector suspected that there were links between the various incidents. And six months ago, Harry and I received a request to investigate. I bet it was Team Rocket with some kind of audio weapon that drives Pokemon crazy. That's why Dad came to this town. Oops, no yes. talk again. I actually hit B. Is the inspector that reliable inspector you just mentioned? Yeah, the veteran inspector Holiday, friends with Harry and me. He's a reliable guy. Totally the bad guy. They're investigating materials and reports. Materials? <laughs> All this. It seemed busy in here. Uh, I feel like I'm being watched, but there's no one here. <laughs> You're a sharp one. It's probably Baker's partner, which is always hiding. Kecleon. Also, he- this guy's right here! This is a picture of my wife and daughter. They see knife. Left and left and left. They seem knife. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, I think. I can't tell. Oh no, we saw that already. It does about that thing. Testimonial from the police. That's because they get a lot of requests from the police. What? I wonder if his partner's a Cacleon. That would be really interesting. I just need to figure out how to actually like. I know it's a. I know it's a, a little bit short for us, but. I'm just. I'm just hitting buttons to try and uh. Detective tip number twenty-eight. Oh. You hate the bad deed, not the doer. No, I I can hate the doer of the bad deed. Don't I'm hate the fact that I murdered someone. Hate the murder itself. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to figure out how to like pause and save or whatever. Um, maybe we keep going until if see if we figure that out, I guess. Are you leaving? Yes. You'll head to Harry's room, right? I'll escort you there. Well, that'd be nice of you, but I'm okay on my own. Don't mention it. You seem cheerful for some reason. Eh, whatever. So long. Hi, you're leaving? Take care. Come back anytime. If we hear anything, we'll let you know. I'm calling to you from the other room. Please do. Bye. Ah, there it is. Saving. Yeah. Return to title screen. Now, this is the time to end it. <laughs> Whoosh. Boom, boom. Tick, tick, tick.